All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm, uh, I'm out looking for a place to paint today. When I got up, um, it's been raining most of the morning. It appears to be, appears to be slacking off now, so maybe, uh, maybe I'll get a good chance here to settle into a spot and not, uh, not get too wet. So I'm driving around in the uh, out east of Great Falls in what's referred to as kind of a coulee coulee region, these low, uh, down in the bottom of these uh, kind of rolling hills, they call them coulees. Uh, there's a town called Sand Coulee in Stockhead and I'm kind of in that, in that particular area. So I'm just cruising around looking for, I couldn't figure out if I wanted to paint from the top of the coulee looking down or from the bottom of the coulee looking up. I'm kind of settled on the fact that I kind of want to be in the bottom looking up. And uh, now to just find uh, find what I'm looking for. There were a couple of uh, a couple female bald eagles um, were like sitting in a tree back there. Uh, I was going for the camera, but they were they they flew before I could do that. And then the same thing happened to me. There were a bunch of mule deer uh, in the field right next to the road, and by the time I could scramble for the camera, they were really suspicious and took off. So. Uh, lots of really cool wildlife out here. Anyway, I will uh, find a place and we'll uh, see if we can't uh, set up and get uh, number four done for this trip. So, all right. So I wish I had a digital zoom on this, then you would be able to see those. Uh, you'd be able to see those mule deer right up there on the edge of the grass. Maybe I can zoom in when I'm editing and you can see them. They're just getting ready to climb the hill there. They're not sure what I'm up to, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. All right, so it's uh, it hasn't stopped raining. Um, it's been an interesting week. I've gone from uh, shorts and t-shirt um, sweating <laughs> and like it was really hot to um, uh, jeans and a sweatshirt and slightly cold. My hands are definitely cold. I wish I had gloves, but um, I don't. But I'm gonna do this anyway. Um, that's how quickly the weather can change around here in these parts of the woods. So, <laughs> um, I, uh, could have been better prepared, but uh, I kind of thought it was going to be hot. And so I had the, I had the heat, I had the mistral, crazy wind, and, uh, now it's raining and, um, but I've painted in the rain plenty, so I'm not concerned about that. But anyway, I've picked out this. Uh, scene right here. Um, I just like the way these trees just kind of sit down in the bottom here. There's a house back there, which is completely not part of my painting at all, but um, yeah, so I am going to, uh, oh, I'm in kind of a, kind of a bird sanctuary here. They've quieted down at the moment when it started raining again. Um, but there's kind of this low area where there's water down in here and um, there's lots of uh, lots of birds singing, but I'm sure they'll be back. But let's get to painting. All right.
So instead of clearing up like it was supposed to, things have only gotten worse. And uh, as you can see, without an umbrella, this is going to be impossible. Um, so I have only really just been able to capture just an impression uh, of this, but hopefully enough to finish this in a dry spot. Um, but for now, um, I'm going to have to pack up and head back down the road and we'll finish this one uh, uh, yeah we'll, we'll finish this one back at the house all right all right so I'm on the porch now and uh, the uh, sky is definitely lightning and I'm getting a little a nice little light here although I think I'll stay kind of in this half shadow um, because of this uh, kind of the awning here on the house, the porch area. So we should be in pretty good shape to continue. And the first thing, the first thing I'm going to do, um, there's a lot of water in the, in my paint, obviously, but that's okay. I can work around that. It will uh, it will surface, and uh, when it does, it it just kind of leaves this. Kind of these little voids um, but we're still wet here so there's no problem <clears throat> with the painting and I'm not really that concerned about where it is in the paint here um, so first thing I'm gonna do is scrape the sky out I changed my mind on I'm gonna take some creative license with this sky and I just I just didn't want to paint another another gray sky even though I had mixed some really beautiful gray color there um, we're just gonna take that out and this is just gonna be a bright blue solid blue sky up there strategy here is to is to get a, a bright blue sky and then the sun would have been over here to the to the right so I'll, I'll kind of highlight everything as if that's where the where the sun is um, something about planes uh, that I wanted to mention to you when I'm painting a scene like this and I'm dealing with a lot of different planes um, one thing to remember all the time is that flat planes tend to be the lightest um, and uh, sloping slopes like we have here would be uh, the next the next darkest and then verticals like the trees and stuff uh, would be the most dark if the road um, when I look at my photograph if I if I take and and I highlight it not highlight it if I turn it to just black and white we would see that uh, the, the road, even though it has this brownish color to it in the end, is actually going to be lighter than lighter than these slopes for sure. So, but it's still it, it was still kind of a kind of a darker brown color. But we can deal with that. Just got a lot of paint on here. Okay. So we'll start with the sky, and then we'll uh, we'll kind of establish the value of the ground, um, and then we'll go for the in-betweens after that. All right, let's do this.
All right, so now I've got things uh, uh, laid in fairly well. Um, I feel uh, pretty good about this now. It was uh, it was so hard to uh, it was so hard to paint out there. Um, I felt really bad that I had to I had to take off. I would have much rather painted this on site, but um, but hey, I was there. I experienced it. And uh, I was able to get the base down, so now it's uh, coming together. Now that we basically got colors blocked in, now we can start working in some kind of some details. Uh, start working in some details and get some of these colors sort of uh, sort of really nailed down. The values that I have going on are working really well, so these. These uh, slopes here are darker, um, these flatter areas. Um, these slopes are facing the light, so they're brighter. Um, these, uh, I, like, I like the road. Um, that's, uh, that's working really well. So now it's just mostly kind of fine tuning and getting some details in there. And um, this'll, uh, this'll work out pretty good, so. That's the hope. All right, so even though looking above these hills, we're actually looking pretty high into the sky, um, I think I still want just a little, a touch lighter horizon. Um, I mean, the horizon is way down here, but um, I, think, I think I just want some, a little bit lighter blend into this background here, so... Just to set that off a little bit. Boy, the paint's a lot thicker today. Okay, so now I'm going to come in here and grab uh, some of these rocks. Um, and I've mixed up a nice dark gray to start with. And then we'll come back with a lighter gray over top of it. So we'll just kind of follow this slope and uh,
This one kind of has a little ledge on it. And then right up here on top, we have a layered one. So it's kind of like top uh, with our lighter gray. This is just kind of the highlight areas and it's mostly the top and the faces so. And then I'm just going to add a touch of green to that gray just to give it a little bit of a All right, now the last step is just to come in and we're just going to pick up some of this. Uh, we just need to get some of this grass to just kind of pick up over top of some of this. I just need to make sure they're living down in the grass and not just floating out in space here. So. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do with this one today is I'm gonna put in some uh, uh, fence posts and, uh, and then that will kind of complete this one. So let me, uh, let me get the brush loaded up with the right color here and we'll get some fence posts in here. And uh, that, should, uh, that should look pretty good. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna stop today after the fence poster in. 
Um, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me again today. Um, it would have been great to do this all in the field, as I said before, but uh, no big deal. It, uh, I was able to capture enough to continue on and mentally I'm trying to think as if I'm standing there, um, which is what I always do when I'm painting not in the field. So I like, I got a lot of values exactly how I wanted them, so I'm really happy about that. And um, yeah, so painting number four, got to go back to California tomorrow. So my next painting will be in the desert somewhere. So yeah, I will catch you later.